Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at loops in Python. We're in, you know, this I, uh, IBM Big Data University virtual lab, uh, and uh, we have the data scientist workbench open. Now we're not doing their, we're not doing the lessons associated with the university, but we are using the Jupyter notebooks and the account, um, which is great because we can then use the same platform to go into some some interesting stuff later. Okay, but for now we're just doing um, Python loops. Okay, so let's click on Jupyter notebook. And I've already copied the URL of the Python notebook we're using. Remember, it's the it's the raw, um, the URL of the raw notebook on GitHub. So we're going to go ahead and paste that in. That's going to be down in the comments or in the lesson that you're using. Okay, and we want to go ahead and choose Python three uh, for our interpreter. Okay, so loops iterate over a given sequence. So here's an example. So we have primes, which is a list, okay? And then we say for prime and primes, okay? So the first time this loops, okay? So it goes this line, then this line, okay? And the first time that's two. It goes back up, it says, oh, is there any more, you know, are there any more items in the collection primes? Okay, so there is, so let's go to the next one. This time it's three goes back up, says, hey, are there any more in the collection primes? Says, yep, there are, so let's go loop again. So there's primes five, okay, f then we go back up, are there any more numbers in primes? And it says, yep, there are. This time it's seven, okay, so print seven, it finally goes up and says, are there any more prime, you know, numbers in primes? And this time the answer comes back, no. So it's it basically breaks out of the loop, okay, that final time it skips the code here and it goes on to the next line, whatever that is in the program. Okay, so let's go ahead and execute that. And just as we expect, each time it prints out, you know, the next item in the collection. Okay, so for, for loops to iterate over a sequence of numbers using the range and X range functions, the difference between the range and X range is that the range function returns a new list with numbers of that specific range whereas xrange returns an iterator, which is more efficient. Python 3 uses the range function, which acts like xrange. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, it uses range, right? So we're gonna go ahead and hit shift enter. Okay, so for x in range five, okay, so that's zero, one, two, three, four, okay. So we have five numbers there, right? For x in range three through six, okay? So that's three, four, five. Notice that we never get up, so it's, it's not inclusive of that number, right? So three, four, five. And then this one, remember, it's kind of very slimmer to slices, right? So we start at three, and the step is two. We go to five, we go to seven, and then nine isn't in our range, right? So that's our step, okay? Okay, finally, next thing we have, we have a while loop, right? Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you. You should experiment with this range if it doesn't, all right? So remember the third value is the step. So that means if it was three, it would just go every three numbers, right? And this is every two, so it goes three, five, seven. The next is the while loop. So the while loop is a little bit different. So the for loop, it just does, you know, whatever, how many things are in a collection. The while loop will go for a certain amount of, you know, whatever the condition says. So for example, we might have a count equals zero. Okay, and we want, to, we want to do this loop until the count gets to be, while the count is less than five, right? So we do print count, and then we add one to the count. This is called incrementing. Okay, so we increment each time, right? Now, something that co is common for, for new programmers is to leave this out, and what you'd get then is an infinite loop, right? Which can be problematic. Okay. For this one, though, we increment it every time, and so it makes sense, right? So after each loop, it goes while count is less than five. So each time it gets to, this, to the while line, it compares the count, the value in count, to five. And if count is less than five, then it, then it executes the code block and then goes back some and checks. Okay, so it's, it's basically loops are just repeating blocks of code. That's all there is to it. So, so if, if statements skip blocks of code, loops repeat blocks of code. Okay, so that's our while loop. 
break and continue statements. So break and continue are, are really, really, really useful. Okay, so if, if the flow of your program gets to break, break means that it exits out of the loop entirely, okay, and goes on to the next line. Okay, so in this place, in case, that would be the next line. Okay, so for x in range 10, we say if x modulo 2 is equal to 0, then we say continue. So continue just means we skip the rest of the code in the loop. In this case, print x, right? And we just go back up to the next part of the loop. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So in this case, if it gets to break, so if count is greater than or equal to 5, we get to break. We exit out of the loop entirely and go on to the next line, which is this one. Okay. If we do continue, it means that if we hit continue, it basically goes up to the loop again and just increments our counter for us. Okay. All right. Can we use else clause for loops? Okay, and indeed you can. Okay, so so basically in Python, loops like loops act kind of like if statements. Okay, so in this case, while count is less than five, uh, it prints and then increments the count. Okay, once once this comes back as false, once count is five or more than five, it exits the while loop and then prints the else. Okay. Okay, same thing here. So prints out one, two, three, four. Okay, so if I in range one to ten, if Q model. So uh, if if X is less than ten. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, so for x in range 1 through 10, right? So if the if the modulus i modulus 5 is equal to 0, so if it's mo if it is uh, if it is uh, even, okay? Um, sorry, if it's a if it is a um, if it's a multiple of 5 would get a, a modulus of 0, right? So then we break, right? A break means we exit out of the loop entirely. Okay? And that means that we would not get to this else statement, right? So the else is tied to the loop. So if we break out of the loop entirely, we never get to the else statement. Okay, so notice that it never is printed because the loop terminated due to the break statement. Okay, exercise six. So loop through and print out all even numbers for the numbers, numbers list in the same order they were received. Don't print any numbers that come after 237 in the sequence. Okay, so we got a couple things to do there. Let's go ahead and take a break while you I'm going to take a break while you complete this assignment. Okay. Okay, so you should have paused the video there. All right, so let's take a look at what we're doing. Okay, so now a lot of times in these these assignments, they'll, you know, we give you a little bit of a hint, right? So so we're definitely using this modulus, right? Okay, so the first thing we need to really think about is how are we going to loop? Okay, so I like to use if I have a an existing list. Okay, if we have an existing list, usually it's a for loop. Okay, so we're going to do for number in numbers okay and that makes a lot of sense right so for number and numbers that means each time we loop through first time it's 951 next is 402 next is 984 okay um okay also don't print anything that comes after 237 in the sequence so that's not saying at all don't print anything higher than 237 like 918 it's saying once we get to 237, don't do anything else, okay? So at 237, we're going to break, right? We're going to completely break out of the loop, okay? Loop through and print out all even numbers. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to figure out if it's even, right? So we have two if statements. If, okay, and we want to do a modulus, right? So if it's even so we're going to detect even by modulo 
modulus. I always forget the name of that thing. Okay, so we're going to get the remainder. So if... And notice that we're putting this expression in parentheses. Okay, I don't know if that's really required, but it definitely makes us be able to see it better. Okay, we're going to say if number modulus 2 is equal to 0, so that means it's even, then we're going to print the number. Okay. All right, now it also asks us to say, well, we don't want anything after 237. So really we want to, if once we get to 237, so we're going to go through all these numbers. Once we get to 237, we still want to test that number and, and see if it's even and then print it if it is. But then at that point, we want to test if it's 237. If number equals 237. Okay, then we want to break, right? We want to entirely just break out of this um, of this loop, right? Okay. Now we could, if we wanted to, um, we don't want to put anything else. We don't want to put continue or anything else. Okay, but this is exactly the loop we want. All right. So let's see how it goes. Okay. So we got. It looks like all even numbers, right? Okay, so we don't have any any odd numbers. Our last number is 918, so that's the number right before 237. 237 would not have come up in this test. Uh, and then we go to 402, 412, which would be here, but it stopped. Okay, so I'm confident we have the right answer. Um, so go back, understand exactly what we did here, uh, and then once you're done, uh, you're ready to turn it in, so go File, Print Preview, okay? Hopefully you paused the video and understood all of this, so File, Print Preview, and then you're going to print, then you're going to go Control p and you're going to print to file and save as a PDF, because you're going to click down here and you're going to give the PDF a name and a location, uh, and then uh, if you're on Windows or another operating system, then you should go, you should print to PDF and upload that. Okay, so if you're in a class, you're going to upload that to your LMS. If you're on your own, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and good luck.